Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK. I and this is uh, Phone Bus Coach Simulator. I've just had a, a text message. Let me just okay. So uh, yeah, it's made a few changes here. Um, I've dropped all of my graphics quality settings down by one. So this is uh, on medium now. That's because it goes epic, medium, low. So I think medium is. Um, is where we're going to start on that one. Everything else is exactly the same as it was. I've dropped field of view down to 75 degrees. Um, now I'm going to keep that at 90. I've changed my mind. And we'll just see if this improves FPS at all and how much it affects uh, the quality of the uh, video, uh, the view, the, the graphics. God damn it, man. Right, uh, we are going to start our massive, massive route of the north today. New routes. We are going to start up here at Bremen. And Bremen's going to go to Hamburg. And then we're going to go to Kiel. And then Schwerin. And then Rostock. Saline or Saline. And then Potsdam. So that's quite an epic route, guys. But that's what we're going to do. Bremen to Potsdam, that's cool. We'll call it Express. Route number 05 we'll go for today. Do you know, yeah, okay, so you can have three numbers. I was going to say it'd be better if you could have three numbers there, but you can, so that's good. Check-in time, two minutes. Travel time, 16 hours and 14 minutes. A total of 1,241 kilometres. That's a route, all right. What the heck is that? Is that because I've changed the quality of the graphics? That's weird. What is that all about? That's the no repaint. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think maybe... Um, I think maybe TML need to know about this bug. My repaints are fine, but the built-in repaints are absolutely screwy. Look at that. How odd. What should we do this one in? Should we go in the Cotrail? I quite like my Cotrail coach. Let's take her out today. So here we are, guys. Coach is looking rather nice, actually. Nice sheen on it. Obviously, uh, Cotrail focus their attentions on the Italian province of Lazio and surrounding areas. Hopefully one day we'll have Italy to drive around, but for now they're doing a little jaunt into Germany. So let's get on board. Right, let's get the engine on. door shut. Now this is going to be a much, 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 much longer route than anything I've done previously. So we are going to, oh wow, you can really tell the difference on the graphics, can't you? Look at that. FPS is nearly 60 though. And I'm not kidding you, FPS is dramatically improved. But there are some serious failings. Wow, I think I'm going to have to play with this a bit more. At the moment it looks a bit too ugly. Uh, comfort drive suspension, fanfare on, uh, brake matic, the voltage converter on, automatic part particle filter, nav on, finally, that's it, I think all good. Now I'm hoping with uh, 12,000 miles to drive that the fuel here, which you can just about see with the graphics as they are, um, that is going to drop and we'll have to get fuel. So I'm hoping that's the case. Let's log in. So we need to be at the Bremen uh, bus stop for 12.14, so we've got about 15 minutes to get there. 
plenty of time. I'm using the sat nav on screen like this because that one's just unusable. Into gear, handbrake off, and away we go. And I completely forgot in the last episode to look and see if the bus was dirty. And if you look at my windscreen right now, that looks filthy. So anyway, now when I look down there, I don't see, ah oh, there it is, the road blockage. See that's naughty, you don't see it until you actually get out on the road. Good thing to remember though. Thank you for waiting sir, very kind of you. I'm going to give you a massively wide berth because as we know collision detection is now not as good as it used to be. Oh yeah, we got this bug about being too close to the vehicle in front, it won't drive anywhere. What's going on? Is he stuck there because I'm slightly over the over the middle line? That red car really needs to go. Oh crikey. Anyway guys, we're getting um, nearly 40 FPS in town. So uh, we're doing something right. Altering the graphics does make a difference, unlike uh, some train simulators I could mention. What the hell was that? I think I just ran a sign over. This is getting just beyond a joke. Come on, TML, you fixed all of this. How the heck have you managed to put it all back in? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to squeeze through here. There's nothing else I can do. Jolly glad to be out of there, I tell you. Oh, no, I'm not turning right there. Waiting for a gap. God, oh, bloody hell, mate. dangerous intersection that is goodness me nobody gives way do they it's another thing I think could do with a bit of a tweak is the uh, the regularity of passengers uh, the rig sorry those passengers really confuse me with their all walking but not moving maneuver um, yeah, the regularity of traffic spawning, I think uh, it's too regular, it makes pulling out difficult. If it, if it was a bit more random, then you might occasionally get a big slot that you can pull out in. Anyway, let's get people on board. Hello everyone. Salut, das Salut. Ticket. Bitte schön. Thank you. Sehr freundlich. Hi, fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Um, oh, thanks indeed. Guten Tag. Tag. Sie wollen gestuhlen. So few Ciao. of this guy today. Fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Now this is what I was talking about last week. You can see that he's wearing a white shirt with red buttons on and yellow trousers. Hello. Or shorts Hello. Even. If you just change the colour of the clothing that this guy is wearing, that would be as good as having a different Mahlzeit. model. Here. Vielen Dank. Hello. Bin ich jetzt? So if you could just sort of Salut. automate. Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. Sehr freundlich. If you could just sort of uh, randomise rather. The colour of their clothing, then uh, that would go a long way to making this feel more realistic. Hello, I hope I'm here very friendly. I have for my bus verpasst. He's not coming on this journey. Hello, my ticket. Thank you. Thanks. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I quite like this repaint actually. Pretty smart looking. 
pretty neat and tidy as well. You can see that I don't have any issues around the skyline of Mark or on the windows or anything. Uh, I'm going to add this to the download tool and tidy up all of the other repaints that I've got up there because they were kind of rushed, a few of them, um, and they're not as good quality as I'd like. So that's going to be addressed. Fear not, fear not, fear not. Let's check and make sure everybody's on. Yeah, we've got everybody. Excellent. So we're leaving here at 12.14, which is quite a few minutes away. So I'm going to go now because everybody's on board. Um, there's no benefit to anybody, me waiting stationary for that amount of time. If we get caught in traffic, that's six minutes of traffic time I don't have to worry about. So uh, that's what we're doing. That's the decision. The driver, the captain has spoken, and away we go. 35 FPS. Now last week in the same town with uh, everything on Epic. Oh no, please just go. Thank you. I wasn't talking to you, truck driver. Uh, yeah, so I mean that is an improvement. It's about twice the, uh, the FPS. And at the moment, driving around, it looks fine. Obviously there are some areas where this lower lower level of quality is affecting game the game. Oh, this is preposterous, guys. As soon as I get near him, he'll start. God, this is this is what it was like when it first came out. Oh crap! I'm turning right. Come on, you totally drove into me there, man. Cut me up. Glad to get out of the city. Don't you start, jeepers creepers. This this does frustrate. I mean, you guys know that I love this game, right? And the potential it has is absolutely mind blowing. Get out of the bloody road! But to reintroduce bugs that were fixed months ago. I think is just ridiculous. I love this game, I love TML, I know the guys over there are working extremely hard, but this is a step backwards. And that's just, I, I don't know what the reason for it is, but it feels like it's lack of care, care and attention. But, you know, I, I, I myself uh, am a software developer, so I know the, the practices and the processes and where they can go wrong. And it seems to me that when you spent months fixing an issue like this, to then have the exact same issue come back again, suggests that someone has uploaded the wrong version of something and effectively reinfected the old issues back into the game. That's the only thing I can think that has caused this. There is, I suppose, an outside chance that um, they found the improvements or the fixes that they applied um, had a negative effect on FPS or something like that, and that they found a better... Oh look, that mirror doesn't even work. That rear view mirror doesn't work. Um, they found that they have a better way, because obviously they're developing um, Berlin City Bus Driver or, or whatever it's called, I can't remember now. Um, they're developing that alongside Fernbus, and some of the benefits from that are going to come over. So maybe they found a better way of implementing AI controls, and they're going to uh, bring them over. You see, it's too cold. Turn that up a little bit. Keep everybody happy. Now I'm absolutely adamant today: no crashes. No serious incidents, no having to drive off-road. I don't want any of that to happen today. I have got the incidents at 1%, but what I didn't think about or what I didn't consider is that maybe that doesn't work, that slider. 
and uh, if it's, on, it's either on or off. Um, it's quite possible that that is the case. I'll tell you what, i tell you what, it's so nice to have a GPS I can actually flip in C. It makes a massive difference. It's also nice to have slightly better FPS, but I, I'll be honest, um, I'm going to have to tweak this a bit. The level of graphics is not quite enough for my liking. We're going to have to improve things considerably. Actually, I wonder if I can do that in game. I'll wait until I get on the motorway, and uh, or the auto barn, I should say, and. Um, I'll see if I can change it. The lights are not with us today, but it's okay because I've already got six minutes of time. Right, let's have a little look now. I don't know if you can change it whilst you're in the game. Let's, let's see. Uh, that's where I meant to go. So what have we got here? View distance, anti-aliasing. Material quality. I think that might be where our problem is. Let's try that. It's just there. Uh, uh, no, that hasn't fixed it, is it? It's pretty bad. Um, let's try one more. Put that back down. Shadow quality, it could be that. Let's put these back up. I know view distance won't have any effect on it, but um, no, that hasn't fixed it either. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's Let's try something else. Let's bring these back down, if that's not going to be an issue. Um, texture quality could be that one. Effect quality could be that one. Mirror quality could be that. Well, mirror quality, I imagine, would uh, explain why we have no mirror. Did we miss the lights? I think I may have missed the lights. <clears throat> it's okay because I've got six minutes to play with. No, this still looks bloody awful. It's less bloody awful. Hmm. Yes, well. Lights are green, off we go. And you're just going to pull out in front of me, right? Yeah, of course you are. I remember when this game used to do that all the time. And now it does again. Oh my god, they've closed that road off, look. They've set incidents to 1% and yet they're still everywhere. I can only assume that isn't actually working. I'm coming off here. Oh god, you have no idea how nice it is to have a GPS I can see. I just saw my Mayhew repaint go past then. On the opposite side of the uh, autobahn. Absolutely fabulous. Actually, now that we're out on the uh, on the autobahn, because I never really have any issues other than around town, I can just whack all this back up. Just whack it all back up and be grateful for 40 FPS.
speeding. Yeah. Oh, Geht's nice. auch etwas langsamer? I missed that completely. I don't, I don't even know what speed I'm meant to be doing here, but I'm just trying to follow what everyone else is doing. Hopefully that'll be enough. I wonder how many points a uh, score I'll get for having driven the whole north of Germany. Jesus. Is the Fahrer betrunken or why are we so? That's why I hate driving down these bits because there are invisible barriers that you can't see. Leifus! Leifus! Just learn how to say speeder in German. This car coming up behind me isn't doing the speed limit, is he? He is now, I just blocked him off. <laughs> Quite right too. It would be quite cool actually if at some point they were able to get the AI to undertake Oh, crikey, sorry, that was 100% my fault. If they could get the AI to undertake um, aggressively, because you do get people like that, unfortunately. I think they're more important than everybody else. It would also be nice if um, speed limits in areas like this were visible like frequently, just to remind you, like in real life. Not just one at the beginning that you might accidentally miss, like I think I did that time. But anyway, we're through that, we're through that um, roadworks. Speed limitation has been reduced, not that I was really adhering to it anyway. So now I get the distinct, distinct impression that we don't need to take a rest yet guys. I am going to have to have rests during this journey so I'll have to figure out when they are due. Quick butchers at that now. So once we leave Hamburg, we're going to have a rest after that. Beautifully sunny day. In fact, uh, looking out my window there, I can see that um, it's a beautiful sunny day in in the real world as well, down here in sunny Dorset, Dorset. Beautiful blue skies, lots of cloud, uh, lots of like uh, white fluffy clouds. Uh, I should, I feel like I should know um, what those clouds are called because I'm an aviation fan. Um, but no, I don't. I call them white fluffy clouds and they're lovely. Not too many to spoil the sunlight but enough that uh, you know you can see them. I like clouds, clouds are nice. When I was a kid I used to enjoy lying down in the grass looking up at the sky just watching the clouds pass by. Very relaxing. I haven't done that for a good 20 odd years. I might go do it in a minute actually, just go lie in the garden. If I do that, I'll probably get overrun with ants and spiders and some seagull come and try and peck my eyeballs out or something. Not that I'm a pessimist or anything like that. No, no, no. Realist. That's what I like to think of myself as. Chicane. Now, if you've ever watched a coach go through one of those chicanes, they do not handle it well. Oh crap, both lanes are going right. 
should have uh, reacted to that much quicker. So far though, journey's going well. Let me get these windscreen wipers on. I want to see if it cleans the window. Oh, I see. The kind of dirt that I see there is um, in an area of the window that the windscreen wipers don't touch. But it does look a bit dirty to me. Must be on a bridge because we've got that weird sound. Oh, I thought I saw a car. Whoa, crikey. And now we're going to have to pull back into the middle. Oh, just in time for the chicane. Goodness me. use the road signs properly there it's so much easier driving so much more realistic driving with that sat nav visible because I actually feel like I know where I'm going and the stress and the pressure of approaching a, a junction has dramatically reduced a little bit like our FPS which has just dropped down to 27 we must be approaching a city chicane coming up no cars on either side. Oh wow, everybody just stopped in front of me. The chicanes are so dangerous. <clears throat> what? What? What's the? Genuinely no idea what the heck went on then. I was just driving safely in my lane. Next thing I know, there's cars piling up behind me. Oh, what the heck did I press that button for? Whew. Okay, well, not too eventful. We've made it. The weather's still fine. I think we're on time. We should be on time. I don't believe we've lost more than six minutes. I was sat at the um, traffic lights for a while. Maybe that's diminished some of that time, but I, I can't think we were there for more than six minutes. Six minutes of game time, at least. <sighs> Couldn't find my handbrake then. Ah, yes, so let's have a look. Uh, 1336. We're not due here until 2.17, so we are really, really early. Must remember not to get too close to the car in front because of that bug having been reintroduced. wait patiently now for, uh, for the lights to change. So what I can tell you about Fernbus and what's coming up in Fernbus guys is that there are some really interesting things coming, some really interesting features and um, you, I can't tell you what they are but I can tell you that you're going to be um, wanting to get your hands on it. I can almost, almost 100% guarantee that. hoping greatly that um, the advances made with UI all those months ago uh, are reintroduced because this bug oh, I thought it was going to stand still then these bugs have already been fixed once um, and it should theoretically just be a case of finding that fixed code and reinserting it for the next beta. Hello Logo. Shall I zoom out in on that? Me and Steve Chester. I think that's Steve Chester's logo there. I think. Yeah. Sims and Stuff. That's what he calls himself. Great little channel by the way. Um, huge potential, go and check him out if you haven't already. So 
seems to be a really nice guy. Hopefully we're going to collaborate on something in the future. Uh, we're turning right here. Oh, <laughs> whoops. I'll tell you what I've done there in a second. Okay. So, my chair has quite a lot of... Um, functionality you can <clears throat> raise and lower the armrests you can lean it back you can lock it off you can spin it's on wheels it's you know it's a really good chair fantastic gaming chair I've seen all these um, massive youtubers with their gaming chairs and they oh it's such a good gaming chair you've really got to buy one of these well um, I look at them and I look at the features that they come with and I think that's not really ideal for gaming. Uh, there's a lot of situations where that doesn't actually do what I want my chair to do. This chair I found uh, cost me £220. It's real leather. It's very, very heavy. It's very comfortable. It's, um, I think, personally, it's the best gaming chair you could ever have. And... Um, it costs about the same as you know the chairs that all these big YouTubers are using, but I think it has a great deal more functionality. I was saying you can adjust the arms. Well, um, because you can adjust the arms in the way that you can, you can actually clamp your, in, in my case, my G27 uh, shifter, I can actually clamp it to the chair, at chair height, which is far more realistic in terms of driving car simulators because that's where your gear stick normally is in the UK anyway in America maybe they're on the dash but in the UK generally gear shifters are found in between the passenger and the driver's seat so with the chair that I have I can, <laughs> I can actually do that Oops. I can take one of the armrests off and attach the uh, the shifter to it to the actual chair uh, and it just sticks with me. It's brilliant, fantastic. And I can put it on either side as well. If I want to be, if I want to go for ultimate realism, if I'm driving an American car, I ought to put it on the right-hand side. Sometimes I do that. Most of the time, most of the time, I don't, to be honest. But you know, it really doesn't take long. We're, we're talking 30 seconds to swap it from one side to the other. So it's pretty good. Um, if you're interested, guys, I'll do a review on this chair. It's um, it's not promoted as a gaming chair, <coughs> excuse me. And in all in in all honesty, I don't think the term gaming chair should actually exist, because all it is, from what I can tell, is a chair with a decent amount of padding, small amount of functionality that they've jazzed up a bit to look a bit sporty, like a sports car seat. That's pretty much. You know, all the gaming chairs I looked at when I was looking to get my new chair, they all seemed to be the same. They all looked the same. They all had the same limited functionality. They are all about the same price. I just gen gen genuinely was not impressed. Then I found this chair, 220 quids. Maybe a tad more than some of these gaming chairs are. But I tell you what, in terms of functionality, this chair trumps all of them by an absolute country mile and there's about four or five different designs you can have as well in fact mine was only 220 because I went for leather because uh, I find leather looks nice and uh, I believe it will last longer I hope it will last longer here we are guys Hamburg we have arrived and I don't know what time it is nearly two o'clock so we're 15 minutes early so that's awesome we have totally got here on time uh, in fact we're six minutes early so we can accumulate this time if everybody's here if all the passengers are here we can nip into McDonald's grab ourselves a burger and then be back out on time for the next Jesus Christ that made me jump <coughs> for the next leg of our journey. 
So, I guess guys, uh, I'm going to let these people off and uh, jump off the coach and uh, I'll say thank you for watching. Hopefully our passengers are getting off the bus or maybe nobody's getting off here. That's a good point, maybe nobody's getting off. I'll say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you coming along and uh, giving me your support. And uh, until next time, goodbye for now.